Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in white, and we're learning to draw a normal distribution curve from a given mean and given standard deviation. So the mean and standard deviation are two numbers that underpin the use of a normal distribution curve. So often you'll see the symbol mu, and we always take that to mean the mean. And you'll also see a little circle with a little fringe. And that we always take to be the standard deviation. And with these two bits of information, you will be able to roughly draw what that normal distribution curve might look like. So let's get into an example. Um, if the mean is 40 and the standard deviation is 5, what would that graph look like? So I'm just going to jump back into blue pen to explain something and the way I like to draw a graph. So this is a normal distribution curve and that mean is always in the middle of that data. So we can always plot the mean. And the way I like to do the rest of the graph is, is by considering the, how the probabilities of the graph relate to one another. So let's say you're within one standard deviation, so you're minusing one standard deviation for the mean and you're adding one there. That area, plus or minus one standard deviation, that relates to about 67% of the data. The next one I wanted to draw is if you actually extend this to three, so we've got minus two, minus three, and we've got plus two, plus three. So if you extend that to within three standard deviations of the mean, so plus or minus three standard deviation, that actually relates to 99.7% of your data, which is nearly all of the data. So the way I like to do my normal distribution curves, I make a starting point of the mean being 40, and then I will go plus or minus three lots of the standard deviation. And that helps me construct what the curve might look like. So let's get into example and how that relates to our green example. So our mean is 40. So I'm gonna draw a, a dot that relates to 40. And from that, we know that 99.7% of the data is within three standard deviations of that mean. So there's plus one, there's plus two, and there's plus three. So the data should go up to there. And then after that, you got minus one, minus two, and minus three which would come to 25. So what that means is our normal distribution curve should fit between those lines. So here it's a bit of a an art form. So it's we go up to there, we go down, and then we go through there. And those points, they relate to the mean of 40 and the plus or minus three standard deviations on either side of that mean. Okay, let's have a go at another one. So we're going to use purple this time. So let's say our mean is still 40 and our standard deviation is now 10. What does that mean? So the idea of standard deviation being 10 is now plus, I'm sorry, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. That means the lower limit is at 10. And we got plus 1, plus 2, and plus 3. That means the upper limit is at 30. But that, that kind of demonstrates that our graph has been stretched out. And as something gets stretched out, the mean becomes less likely to occur. So I'm going to do, just take a stab at it. So I'm going to put our mean. It's going to be not as likely, but it's going to be about there. And we can then draw our graph. 
and we can see that it's a lot flatter than the green graph. And the final one I want us to look through is what if it had a standard deviation of 20? Sorry, a mean of 20 and a standard deviation of 5. We can do similar. So we can see the standard deviations for the first and last question are the same. So it's going to be about the same height as the green graph, but it's going to be from 20. And plus or minus three standard deviations is 15 either way. So this is going to come to 5, and that's going to come to 35. And using those points, we'll roughly be able to draw what our normal distribution curve might look like. Hopefully you found this video useful in drawing, drawing, drawing normal distribution curves. Just a reminder, we did this based on two bits of information, the distribution's mean and the distribution's standard deviation. And with those two bits, you can have a pretty good go at drawing and comparing different normal distribution graphs. Hopefully you found this video useful. Please have a look at the next video.